How bad is the condo market really? The real estate market is kind of like the weather. There's no good weather, there's no bad weather, there's just inappropriate clothing choices. But if we're going to say good market means prices going up, bad market means prices going down, then Toronto condos have been in a bad market since June 2023. We've had a few ups and downs along the way, but sales volume has been low. The rest of the market's done pretty well where condos have been left behind. My name's Tom Story. Welcome back. We're going to talk about Toronto condo prices so far in 2024, the inventory that is building and what could happen with prices moving forward and why a lot of people believe 2028 condos are going to go absolutely insane again. If you enjoy this style of content, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to book a call with me or my team, you can go into the first link in the description. The Toronto condo market in 2024 is hard to put into context because in other bad markets that we've seen, even going back to 2008, we just didn't have this many condos. But the condo boom has very much been here. We've built at a rapid pace. We've seen the upwards density in the downtown core of the city. And now we are sitting with a market where over 70% of active listings for sale in the city of Toronto are condo ownership. Timing the real estate market is hard, but maybe it's not completely impossible. What we're looking at here is the average condo price in the city of Toronto. So this is the entire city um, throughout the entire year of 2024. We started at 709. Uh, we peaked out in May at 767 and in July we're at 748. So we actually saw prices go up for the first four months of the year. And now they've gone down for the past two months in a row, or you could say maybe three months because there was a thousand dollar difference between April and May. And personally, I think the frustration level of buyers is they're like, well, wait a second. I'm hearing on the news that this is the worst condo market we've ever had. Inventory is high. Sales volume is extremely low. Uh, why aren't prices dropping? And if we look at a chart, like this is what this year's looked like. We haven't really changed that much. And condos haven't gone from 700,000 to 500,000. Truthfully, I don't think that they will. So let's break down where we're at today. If you look at the key data points, and we had mentioned this earlier, of all the listings for sale in the city of Toronto, over 70% are condo ownership, meaning condo apartment, or condo townhouse where there's strata involved. We have seen prices go down since May, so it has started to happen again, not really at a rapid pace, but slowly starting to happen. And the total amount of condo listings on the market in Toronto is like over 7,000. Uh, in my estimation, that is the most that we've ever had. Now, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, I've bored you to death talking about months of inventory, but quick recap here if you're new, if that number is over six, we are in a buyer's market. Now, the big question is how long does a number need to be over six for you to see real pressure on prices? And I would say probably four to six months minimum. We've been at that threshold for downtown for about three months now. And I think once we get to that end of that four months, you'll have enough previous sales data happen that the market will then react accordingly moving forward in sale price. But the entire city of Toronto is over six months of inventory for condos. If it continues at six, you'll slowly see prices dip down. If you're thinking, well, Tom, I want prices to go down 20%. Well, honestly, that number probably needs to get to like 10 or 12 and then stay there for six months for something that drastic to happen. If you look at CO1 and CO8, which is the downtown core of Toronto, CO1 is west of Young Street and CO8 is east of Young Street, but it's the downtown core. CO1 is 6.8. That actually went down from last month, about 0.3, so not much of a difference. But CO8, which is you know St. Lawrence Market, Design District, Canary District, Distillery District, great areas, their inventory is at 8.3. Point three. So pretty simply, if this inventory remains, you will see prices come down in those areas. It all depends on how high that number gets to determine how fast prices will fall. And then we got to discuss this. Well, why are prices holding if all these things are happening right now? I think you're going to see this change very quickly. I think we got about a month left before there's true price discovery in the Toronto condo market because markets change quickly. You know, we went from like three months to seven months of inventory for downtown condos in about two months, right? Like it changes really quickly. And you got to remember that a lot of sellers are thinking of going on the market. They've been thinking about it for a while. And maybe that initial discussion with their real estate agent was two months before they listed. And now they've been on the market for 60 days as the market has changed. And maybe they're just not quite educated on where they need to be if they actually want to sell. And they're about to make that decision. Do I price right? 
do I price to get ahead of the market, even though it's going to be lower than I initially thought I was going to get because I want to sell? Or am I just going to say, you know what? I'm holding on to this. I'm not selling till I can get this price. And I'll tell you, because I'm chatting with condo sellers every day, a lot of people are just saying, like, I'll wait. And I'm telling them, you know, waiting doesn't mean two months. It might mean a year. But most people, at least at this point, seem to be okay with that. So what's next? What's next for Toronto condo prices? In my estimation, one of two things happens. This inventory holds or goes up and prices go down. It's it's really that that simple. Or listings come off the market because they're not selling and sellers aren't as maybe desperate as some buyers want them to be because there are people in that situation and they take them off the market and overall inventory actually comes down a little bit. But what needs to happen for condo prices to go up again? Uh, personally, I think Bank of Canada overnight rate needs to get to three and a half percent. That's another full point. I don't know how long that's going to take to get there. It will get there, but it's going to take a little while. And our current inventory in the city of Toronto, which is at six, would have to get to three. So listings cut in half, Bank of Canada coming down, and keeping a close eye on that five-year bond yield for what fixed rates are going to do. And it looks like they're coming down. Many people are now looking to the future, and they're keying in on the year 2028. And they're saying, hey... If you own a condo and you can hold it, hang tight because things are about to get crazy. There's basically three reasons why people believe this is going to happen. First reason is that by 27, 28, all these mortgages will be reset. Any pain that were to be felt in the market would be flushed out based on the sales that happen. So who knows what happens in the next two years? 2027 and 2028 will also mark the five years of a lot of new people coming into Canada in 2022 and 2023. And the stat that's typically talked about is new immigrants that come to Canada. They don't buy right away, but at that five year mark, they really start considering it. So if you add up the fact that like, okay, all the mortgage pain will at least be taken care of based on the renewals or selling properties. So everyone's reset that whatever the dust settles at, at the new rates. Then you have this cluster of people upcoming to the point that maybe they're going to get serious about buying. And then the biggest thing, and this is very clear because projects are not launching, developers aren't selling right now. No shovels are going in the ground. Developers can't sell out their projects right now. This new construction stuff, which... I still think is overpriced. That's been my opinion for a long time. If nobody buys it, nobody builds it. And then we are going to have a massive, massive issue on our hands. So how bad is the condo market? Well, honestly, guys, it's not great. The real question is how long will it remain a bad market? Because it needs to remain a bad market over a period of time to see the price decreases I think a lot of people on YouTube want to see. Hope you found that informative. If you have any questions, let me know below. If you are looking to buy a condo this year, we got a full video that breaks it down step by step with all the information that you need. Thanks for watching. My name is Tom Story, and remember, home is where your story begins.